If you answer Doug Monroe, then you would be correct. In this lesson, we will focus on the Coast Guard's core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty. Before we begin this lesson, I would like to share with you some pieces from my autograph collection. The first piece I would like to share with you is an autograph of Doug Monroe. If you look closely at this piece, this is the back of an envelope, and this looks like a return address. Perhaps this is from a letter that Doug Monroe sent home during his time in the Coast Guard. According to Doug Monroe's service record, he served aboard the USS Leonard Wood from November of 1941 to April of 1942. So we have a time frame of when Doug Monroe signed this piece. One of the biggest challenges of trying to collect signatures from posthumous Medal of Honor recipients is definitely scarcity. I am very honored to have this Doug Monroe piece in my collection, and I hope that we can honor his legacy and learn from his life story. The next piece I would like to share with you is an autograph from Louis B. Pooler. If you are unfamiliar with this name, then perhaps you might be familiar with the name Chesty Pooler. Chesty Pooler was the most decorated Marine in the history of the Corps. He was awarded the Navy Cross five times. The Navy Cross is the second highest award that a Marine could receive just below the Medal of Honor. So what is the connection between a Marine Corps legend and Doug Monroe? Once you become familiar with Doug Monroe's story, you will realize that this connection is a very special one. On a sheet of paper, I would like you to write the following words. Honor, respect, and devotion. For each of these words, I would like you to try to come up with your own definition. If you are unsure what these words mean, then please feel free to use a dictionary. I would now like to give you some time to come up with your definitions so please feel free to pause the video right now, and when you're done, you may resume this video, and we will go over these core values. Okay, thank you for joining me again. Now here are some definitions you can use to define these core values. Now I want you to think about these core values as you listen to the story of Doug Monroe. Douglas Albert Monroe was born in Vancouver, Canada of American parents on 11 October 1919, but spent his entire life previous to his enlistment in South Clee Elam, Washington. His parents were Mr. and Mrs. James Monroe of South Clee Elam. Douglas Monroe was educated at the South Clee Elam grade school and graduated from the Clee Elam High School in 1937. He attended the Central Washington College of Education for a year and left to enlist in the United States Coast Guard in 1939. He had an outstanding record as an enlisted man and was promoted rapidly through the various ratings to a signalman, first class. In the engagement in which he gave his life, Monroe had already played an important part, having been in charge of the original detachment of 10 boats that had landed the Marines at the scene. 
Having successfully landed them, Monroe led his small boat force to a previously assigned rally position. Almost immediately upon his return, he was advised by the officer in charge that the conditions at the insertion point were not as expected. The Marines were under attack from a larger Japanese force and needed to be extracted immediately. Monroe volunteered to lead the boats back to the beach for the evacuation. Commanding the rescue expedition, he brought the boats inshore under heavy enemy fire and proceeded to evacuate the Marines still on the beach. Though the majority of the Marines had been loaded into the boats, the last remaining elements of the rear guard were having difficulty embarking. Assessing the situation, Monroe maneuvered himself and his boats into a position to cover the last groups of men as they headed to the boats. In doing so, he exposed himself to greater enemy fire and suffered his fatal wound. At the time it was reported that he had remained conscious long enough to utter his final words, did they get off? For his heroic and selfless actions in the completion of this rescue mission, Monroe was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. I hope you found Doug Monroe's story to be as inspiring as I did. What really stood out to me was Doug Monroe's humility and his unselfishness. His last words were about uh, the Marines that he rescued off the island of Guadalcanal, and he wasn't uh, thinking about himself. One of the most important lessons we can learn from Doug Monroe's story is how your actions can certainly alter the course of history. Earlier in the video, I mentioned the name Chesty Puller. And his biography is certainly uh, worth reading. And there's a link below in the description if you would be interested in learning more about this Marine Corps legend. So now I'd like to talk about the connection between Doug Monroe and Chesty Puller. Chesty Puller was one of the Marines Doug Monroe rescued. And Chesty Puller also recommended Doug Monroe for the Medal of Honor. Could you imagine how history would have been different if it were not for Doug Monroe's uh, unselfish act of heroism? Those Marines could have certainly uh, lost their lives, but thankfully we don't have to wonder what would have happened because Doug Monroe lived and Doug Monroe was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Doug Monroe certainly represented the Coast Guard core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty. Now what we are going to do is we're going to make a meaningful connection uh, between the Coast Guard's core values and using Doug Monroe as an example. What we will be doing is a word map and I will show you what it looks like. In the middle of this word map, you will pick one of the core values such as honor, respect, or devotion to duty. And on the upper left-hand corner, I want you to define that core value in your own words. And then I want you to come up with some synonyms. What are some words that are similar to that core value? And below that, what are some antonyms? What are some words that are the opposite of that core value? And then in this final box over here, I want you to write an example from Doug Monroe's story that represents that core value. You can also uh, create your own word map just like I did over here, put the core value in the middle and you have, you have four boxes over here. So for this word map activity, what I would like to do right now is to do what I call a citation investigation. When a Medal of Honor recipient is awarded the Medal of Honor, there is an accompanying citation that describes their heroic deed that earned them that uh, award for valor. 
So right here is a copy of Doug Monroe's Medal of Honor citation. This is available on the United States Coast Guard's website and I will put a link below in the description for you. We can read through this citation and from the citation, let's come up with an example of how Doug Monroe represented one of the core values that you have chosen. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor posthumously to Douglas Albert Monroe, Signalman First Class, United States Coast Guard, for service as set forth in the following citation. For extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry in action, above and beyond the call of duty as officer in charge of a group of 24 Higgins boats engaged in the evacuation of a battalion of Marines trapped by enemy Japanese forces at Point Cruz, Guadalcanal on September 27, 1942. After making preliminary plans for the evacuation of nearly 500 beleaguered Marines, Monroe, under constant strafing by enemy machine guns on the island, and at great risk of his life, daringly led five of his small craft toward the shore. As he closed the beach, he signaled the others to land, and then in order to draw the enemy's fire and protect the heavily loaded boats, he valiantly placed his craft with its two small guns as a shield between the beachhead and the Japanese. When the perilous task of evacuation was nearly completed, Monroe was instantly killed by enemy fire, but his crew, two of whom were wounded, carried on until the last boat had loaded and cleared the beach. By his outstanding leadership, expert planning, and dauntless devotion to duty, he and his courageous comrades undoubtedly saved the lives of many who otherwise would have perished. He gallantly gave up his life in defense of his country. Go ahead and pause the video right now so you can work on your word map. And when you are finished with your word map, go ahead and resume this video. Okay, welcome back. I'm glad you can join me again. And while you were busy working on your word maps, I came up with an example. So for the word map I created, I chose the core value of devotion. So I define devotion as a feeling of strong love or loyalty. Some synonyms include loyalty, fidelity, and allegiance. Some antonyms are apathy, indifference, and uh, carelessness. And the example from Doug Monroe's story is that he was willing to risk his life to uh, save the Marines. Another great thing about this word map is that this doesn't have to be just about uh, Doug Monroe. This can be about anybody. In fact, this could be about you. In fact, what I'd like you to do right now is to pause this video and I want you to create your own word map right now and I want you to select one of the Coast Guard core values and I want you to think about how do you demonstrate this core value. So go ahead and pause the video right now and resume it when you are done. Okay, welcome back. I'm glad you can join me. And I do encourage you to keep making these word maps when you'd like to make a meaningful connection between a core value and using yourself or somebody that you admire. This could be someone in your community that you look up to, somebody that you highly respect. It does not have to be a member of the military at all. You do not have to join the Coast Guard or join any branch of the military to live out the core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty. 
In fact, these are values that you can demonstrate uh, in your daily life, at school, at home, and in your community. When you do this word map, you could pick your own values. It could be values that you come up with. It could be the core values in your school's honor code. It could be the core values of an organization you belong to. For those of you who have heard Doug Monroe's story for the first time, I hope this has been a very meaningful experience for you. And I hope it has helped you reconsider or redefine what it means to be a hero. On Memorial Day, when many are enjoying a day off of work or a day off from school, remember the men and women who have made sacrifices for our country. Remember those like Doug Monroe, who risked his life and gallantly gave his life for our country. Rather than mourn, the loss of Doug Monroe. I give thanks that he lived. Mm -hmm.